Are Austin home prices going down? Is the real estate market going down? These are the two biggest questions that I get right now, and I'd love to dig in and talk about it. My name is Patrick Birdsong with Bird Home Real Estate Consultants. I'm your real estate consultant for life. With interest rates floating around 5.5%, we are starting to see a shift in the market. I use the word shift instead of saying the market's going down or the market's going up. It's, it's clearly a shift in, in, in what's happening. Uh, yes, multiple offers are still a thing. Yes, bids over the asking price are still happening. However, we are seeing fewer buyers competing for homes and homes that would have sold kind of regardless of how they price them, you know, really not priced well at all that would just sell instantly anyway, that's not happening anymore. People are a little more budget conscious. So uh, like I said, with interest rates going to about five and a half on their way to six to seven potentially in the fall, uh, we're starting to see that shift. Uh, stats from the Austin Board of Realtors show that in March, we had about two weeks of housing inventory. Uh, predi predictions are that we're gonna have about a month by the end of the summer and potentially by the end of the year, two to three months of housing inventory. Honestly, that would be kind of a nice relief from this pressure we're constantly feeling. Uh, but it would still be a seller's market. Uh, a, buy, a, a market where buyers and sellers are more balanced is like five months of housing inventory, meaning if no more homes came on the market, we'd run out of the things to sell in five months. And like I said, we're operating at about two weeks of housing inventory. So it's still a really hot market. Uh, what does this all mean to you? If you, uh, Sellers who are on the fence honestly should consider selling. Uh, going into the summer market, if you've been kind of thinking about it, I wouldn't wait till the fall because once interest rates get too high, that just kind of honestly pushes down what buyers uh, are willing to spend. And buyers are in the same boat, honestly. As interest rates rise, those homes become more expensive and, uh, and, and not as attainable. Uh, and that's gonna happen either way. The market's still going up. So it's gonna appreciate up or the interest rates are gonna go up and price you out. So I wouldn't wait if you're thinking about buying. I've been telling people to wait for the last two years, honestly, if they're selling. Keep those prices going up. I've been telling buyers, jump on anything that moves. Uh, I think you get to be a little pickier right now. But again, two weeks of housing inventory overall and in some parts of Austin, it's less than that. And to put this into a bigger picture uh, perspective, the Austin market has not seen prices go down in the last 30 years. So this appreciation, while it's more aggressive, is not new. You know, we have the great population dynamics, a really strong job market, and I hate to say it's still relatively inexpensive to live here compared to other major metropolitan areas, LA, San Francisco, New York. I think we're past Chicago, but you get the idea. Um, and then Austin population, the growth is also not something new. We've been doubling in population every 20 years since 1900. 1900, you heard that right. It's something that has consistently been happening. It's been accelerated a little bit in the last couple of years, but economists are predicting that to continue that trend anyway of every 20 years doubling in population. So to answer the initial question, is our market going down? It's no, it's just shifting. Buyers and sellers are just needing to shift their expectations with it a little bit. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is we still have a strong demand and I have buyers that still can't find homes. So I just wanted to run through a couple of those real quick that, that people would buy immediately if, if uh, you were thinking about selling. Uh, I'm looking for a home in Northwest Hills, 78731, around a third of an acre. I have a client that either would like to rehab or tear down and build, honestly, and would spend up to uh, 1.5 million to do that. I'm looking for, in my zip code, 78749, about a 2,800 square foot home, nicely updated. Clients could spend about $900,000 on that. I have a duplex buyer, a younger guy. He's looking to live in one side and rent the other. And he loves something that was more updated, but he's flexible and uh, he wants to house hack it, right? And spend up to about 800,000. I have another couple uh, about to have their first baby looking for 2,000 to 2,500 square foot in South Austin, really anywhere between I-35 and out west of Mopac, uh, spending about 650 max. 
Um, I have several buyers from my neighborhood of Western Oaks proper. Um, anywhere, anywhere from 700 to about 1.1 million would love to be in my neighborhood. So if you're a neighbor and thinking about selling, let's talk. Um, and then I have a, a, a gentleman whose two sons are going to be going to UT in the fall. Brothers, not twins, but uh, brothers looking to spend about 500,000 would love a newer building with an elevator. And lastly, I, I'm looking for kind of a unicorn, something in Southwest Austin, maybe all the way out to Dripping Springs, one to three acres. I would love a main house with a guest house or like it's just a flex space, a second space. And they could spend like 1.2 million uh, for the perfect thing. Prefer to spend eight or 900,000 if possible. So thank you for letting me run through those buyers. Hopefully you learned something about our market and uh, we can continue to, to stay in touch and growing together. Thanks. <laughs>